The primary cilium is an antenna-like structure that emanate from the surface of animal cells uh, uh, and in most cells of the human body. Uh, the primary cilium has a unique function as a sensory domain that receives signals from the surroundings and convey the signaling uh, to the cell for coordination of cellular processes such as uh, migration, differentiation, uh, cell cycle control, and, and so forth. And this is uh, particularly uh, important because uh, defects in formation of primary cilia or, or sensory function of these antenna-like structures uh, lead to a wide variety of different developmental disorders and diseases. Despite these findings, we still know very little about how signal transduction is transmitted through the cilium, uh, and for example, uh, after activation of receptors within the cilium. Uh, what we have found is that uh, signal transduction uh, can be transmitted through uh, clathrin-dependent endocytosis at the ciliary pocket, which is an imagination of the plasma membrane uh, surrounding the base and the proximal part of uh, the primary cilium. The formation of uh, clathrin-coated vesicles and early endosomes can easily be visualized in immunofluorescence microscopy analysis, for example, with antibodies against the cilium, uh, clathrin, and other components of the endocytic pathway, uh, and by pulse labeling uh, the cells with Texas red transferrin uh, that localizes uh, to the early endosomes in this pathway. What we have found now is that signaling can be activated through this endocytic pathway at the base of the cilium and that this signaling pathway is critically important for regulation of transforming growth factor beta, GDF beta signaling, uh, partly in fibroblasts and partly in stem cells differentiating into clusters of beating cardiomyocytes. As indicated in this uh, diagram, GDF beta signaling is associated with accumulation of the receptors to the ciliary pocket. Uh, where the receptors are endocytosed uh, to activate downstream signaling pathways, including phosphorylation of SMAT23, that together with SMAT4 forms a complex that translocate to the nucleus for target gene expression. In this scenario, we suggest that a subset of receptors are specifically localized in the primary cilium, and after binding to specific ligands, the receptors are transported from the ciliary tip down to the ciliary pocket uh, for internalization and activation of downstream signaling pathways. Uh, this can be illustrated by uh, different means. In this case, the primary cilium is shown in red and fossil SMAT23 and the receptors are shown in green uh, before stimulation of the cells with the ligand and after activation of the pathway with the ligand. We have also investigated how the ciliary TDF beta signaling regulates cardiomyogenesis by using a stem cell model that differentiates into beating clusters of cardiomyocytes. When the cells are pluripotent, we don't see any TDF beta components at the base of the primary cilium. But as the they begin to differentiate, we see an accumulation of TDF beta receptor at the base of the primary cilium and also phosphorylation and activation of the downstream effects of SMAT2 and SMAT3. This is also visualized when we do 3D isomeric reconstruction of TDF beta receptor 1 and the primary cilium. And here you can see how the TDF beta receptor accumulates around the base of the primary cilium, a region also known as the ciliary pocket. This tendency have we also observed in true human embryonic stem cells. And together these results indicate that the TDF beta signaling regulated by the primary cilium is important during heart development. Development of the human heart requires uh, coordination in time and space of uh, a lot of signaling pathways uh, and disturbances in these uh, signaling pathways uh, may lead to congenital heart disease which affects 1% of the newborn population. TGF beta signaling is a very important pathway in heart development, especially in the development of the outflow tract of the heart and the vasculature. So on the long run, our results may help in uh, prevention and treatment of patients with congenital heart disease, and they also uh, may help in the uh, development of regenerative uh, therapy for cardiovascular disorders. We believe that our findings are important for understanding uh, uh, GDF beta signaling in relation to many other cellular processes uh, in many different cell types in various tissues. And in, in this regard, TDF beta signaling is well known to cause a number of severe pathologies, including cancers and neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and uh, Parkinson's disease. In this regard, we hope that our findings may contribute to a better understanding 
of these and other diseases, which also may be linked not only to the defective TDF beta signaling at the ciliary pocket, but also potentially because TDF beta signaling is so important for crosstalking with other signaling pathways originating uh, from the primary cilium. And in this respect, we may uh, uh, think of the cilium and, and the ciliary pocket as an operational command center for this coordination between different signaling systems during development and in tissue homeostasis. <laughs>